。Paper two question four. Paper two. Green ball 来。嗯。Okay, so this is the uh number pattern question. So, I think we talk about uh three common types of. Right, three types of common number pattern question. Which three? Um, the first one is. M minus M plus the difference. Uh, no, it's the first number ah, plus the difference. Yeah. M minus one. Very good. Okay. So this one is the uh the simple one, huh? Yes. Okay. Good that you remember the formula. The second one is N square. Yeah, N okay? square. It can be or N square minus one or it can be N square plus one. Okay. Yes. Or two, huh? Then the last one is um one plus one plus. One plus, one plus two plus, two plus three, three plus four, four. four. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So basically, or sum of sum of the numbers. Okay. So if you look at this, so which one question four fits into? Have you done this? No. Oh. This plus three. Okay, so just apply this one. But the thing is, mm. like, no, we are talking about which which column. Yeah, which column is plus three? So it's like the number of squares is plus three. Mm, okay, number of squares. So it's plus three, plus three, plus three, right? Yes. So can you do it now? So before you continue, so next time when you see a number pattern question, you always think of this. Yes, because okay. mm. this mm. paper one, right, mm. as a question, is actually mm. quite similar. Yeah. But then, right, I, like, I, 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 this, this question mm -hmm. is also plus yeah. four, but, yeah. mm -hmm. but I, I don't know, I, I don't know. Which column you talk about? Uh, number of squares is okay. also is plus four plus okay. four. Then you use it, yes. But then I tried this uh. this this um the the Formula. first number plus difference bracket and Which one is the first number? Square number is one. No, look down you're talking about. The square or uh, number of squares. Okay, good. So which one is the first number? One. The first number is one. You ask yourself. Which one you're looking at now? Which one you're looking at now? I'm um, looking at number of squares. Okay, okay. So, and the pattern is? It's plus four. The number of squares is plus okay, four. Okay, good. So what is the first number? The first number is three. Is it not three? Is it I not thought, three? I thought, isn't it bigger number times? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, basically, that's why you need to ask yourself which column you are looking at now. I'm looking at number of squares. Is this is the first one? Yes. Oh. You cannot pick this one, you also cannot pick this one. Oh. If you look at this one, you look at everything. Because I, when I look at this, I look at this yeah. one, so I think. Can you, can you see the, can you see the, I call this, can you see the conflict? Like, okay, you are looking at this and then you come to here. Oh, yes. So, same thing. If you are looking at this, okay. can you come to here? No. Or can you come to here? No. Definitely not. Because? That's why I keep asking you which one you're looking at. Oh. Let's say if you look at this, this, this is what plus what? Plus, plus three. Plus three. Then this one is what? Plus six. This one is plus six? Yeah. Or all the way plus six? Um, yeah, 
Yes. Okay, so if this is plus six, if I ask you what which one is the first number, are you going to tell me this is the first number? If I think it's plus six. No. Why? Right. Because the first number is this one. Yes, so for the plus six, right? Yeah. Then for the plus three? This is this one. Yeah. So you pick the difference from here, then you should pick the first number from here. You pick the difference from here, you better pick the first number from here. Okay. Basically you are going to let's say I don't know whether they ask for this series. If they ask for this series, you use this column. Mm -hmm. If they ask for this series, you use this column. You cannot say, oh, uh, I'm going to do plus 3, but I'm going to use this first number. That's not true. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <coughs> and also, Mr. Mm Lo, -hmm. I need help with the oh, last... What? You are done with that? Uh, yeah, wait, yeah, yeah, wait, I'll finish. Mm, yeah. Over here, first number doesn't mean one. Uh -huh. First number means the first number. Oh, I thought it's a bigger number that is one, then it's faster different. If this is figure number, I will write figure number already. Okay. And some more, it doesn't make sense. Right? If you always look at figure number, that means the first number is always one. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make sense. Eh? Right? Because if you choose the figure number, then you, it's, it's always one. Right? It doesn't make sense. So next time when you apply the formula, you also need to ask yourself whether it makes sense. Or it doesn't make sense for me if you tell me this is one. Always one. Regardless of the difference. What?
Which part you're doing? I'm doing part four, but like, oh, okay. I don't know how to do it. Part four asking what? You said it's verse B yeah. in terms of A. Wait, wait, wait. Which one is A? Which one is B? A is summer of stress. Yeah, yeah. B is prison. Yep. So what is the... They want you to find out what is the relationship between these two. Yeah. Yeah. What's the pattern between these two? There was no pattern. Pattern is I cannot okay. find it. The pattern is you cannot find the pattern. So what's the pattern? Uh, oh, the 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 number of square hmm? times two plus two. I don't know. You you test you test. I don't know. Yes. Okay then, that's it. Is it times 2 plus 2? Yeah. Eh, correct, yeah. So now this is A, so it's times 2 plus 2 equal to B. Right? Yes. Yeah. Next. You said the part 5 said, mm. using the answer to part, part 4, mm. or otherwise, show that the perimeter of the figure will mm. always be an even number. Yep, how? How do you show? So how do you show that this is an even number? A times 2 plus 2. How do you show it's a number? <coughs> How do you show it's always a even number? You use this odd number. You want this? What do you see? It is times 2. Huh? Times yeah, yeah, yeah. What can you do with this? You divide by 2. You divide, huh? You divide by 2 because even numbers can be divided. No, no, no. I asked you, what do you call what do we want to do given this? Use the odd number and try to solve it with this. 不是, 这个, when you look at this, what is your first what's your first thought? A times two plus two. What's your first thought? Is all even number? No. No, don't think about even number first. If I ask I give you a times two plus two, what is your first thought? I don't think your first thought is even number, no. It Just can be divided by two. You divide by two for what? Why you want to divide by two? So that you can find a. What? This is an expression. You know what you're talking about? What find a? What are you talking about? This is an expression. There is no way for you to find a. When can you find a? When this is an equation, then you can find a. I'm not giving you an equation. I'm giving you an expression. What is your first thought? When you're given an equation, what's your first thought? Just look at this. Nothing to do with even number, odd number, whatever. What's your first thought? I just give you this. What are you, what are you going to do with this? How? When you use the word solve, that means it's wrong. You know why you can't solve? The the word to use here is soft is wrong. It's not soft. You know what soft? Soft means like you need to have an equation. That is called soft. Try to use it in a so question. you can only solve equation okay. to get a equals to something. But in this case, it's not soft because not, not this is not an equation. So you don't mix up what you can solve and what you cannot use. Um, what you can solve and what you cannot solve. Over here, you never you can never solve this because there is no way for you to solve. Because it's not an equation. So when you tell me you use the word solve wrong. When you're given an expression, you look at this. Where's your paper one? So I want you to see something. Okay. okay. You look at this. Question one. What is this? Yes. What's the common questions? That should do what? Factorizing. Yes. So the word is called factorize. 
or expand or simplify you can only do these three so that means next time when you see an expression you don't you don't call soft you just factorize expand or simplify so what can you do with this you simplify No, when you don't know how to okay, I don't understand. Are you you have factorized, you have expand, you have simplified. Why you choose simplify and after that, after choosing simplify and you keep quiet. Seems like you cannot simplify. You know how your brain process, right? So you actually basically now a lot of students they don't know what to do. Is they don't even use the right term. So when you tell me, oh, I look at this, I use the word soft. Wrong. You can't solve. Then I ask you, you can only do factorize, expand, and simplify, and you tell me simplify, and then suddenly it becomes quiet. I think There's I no think way for you to simplify. I think it's factorized because yes. they have a common. Correct! Thing. Very good. Because only when you think of factorize, then you find, oh, I can factorize. If you think of expand, no way. That's it. So what is this? Can't you see this is always an even number? Why? Because it's always a. It's always two times something, right? So this is called what? It's a multiple, multiple of, of two. two. Yes. So this is how you explain to the question. Okay. So once again, the mistakes you make or the questions that you don't know how to do is you don't know the approach. Example. So for me, why I know how to solve is when I see this 2a plus 5a plus 4a squared, something like this. First thing, I will not use the word solve. You know why? I can't solve because it's not an equation, right? Then I will know, that, oh, first thing first, this is an expression. Then I quickly search for expression, what I have learned, right? Then I look at the paper one and like look at the previous question. Oh, for expression, I learn factorize, expand, of course, simplify, right? Let's say I choose simplify. Oh no, I cannot simplify. I don't know how to simplify. Expand, no, clearly no expansion. Factorize, yes, okay, factorize, I see common A. Does it make sense? Or, if I give you this, so this is what? This is equation. equation. So, so equation, solve. solve, correct. So when you use the word solve, this is correct. The first step is correct. Then after that, what you do to solve this is combine similar term, right? Am I right? You see, you see, that's how you make decision. Not, oh, I look at it, oh, then, uh, you don't even know what is the first step and when you use the right let's say you use the wrong approach you use the wrong word that's it because simply you cannot solve can, can you use factorize here cannot because this is not for factorization is this for expansion no, no. that's the reason why okay so done yes mm. Last question. Okay, this question. <coughs> actually, I don't. Okay, first thing first. Do you have the answers for part uh, question ten? Uh, yes. Oh, you have the answers for uh, this. No, no, no answer. Oh no. Okay, no model answer. No model. Okay, then it's better for me to just talk about this entire question. Okay, because I am also not sure whether your answers are correct or not. So it's good that I do my approach and then you just check whether your approach and my approach is similar, or maybe you can. Pick up, you can pick up something from my approach.
Okay. Oh, okay. Take a while. Oh, okay. Take a while because it's. Uh... Okay, so over here, what do you see? I see a cylinder on top of a cuboid, right? Mm. So I think for volume is pretty easy, but they're asking for surface area, right? Uh, that is in contact with the water. So the keyword is in contact of, with the water. So what I suggest you do is um, you use the top bottom left right front back then add up can you use that method mm -hmm. let me take a good, good look at your where you okay 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 very good so uh you start with the what first huh? i start with the side first the left, the left and right, right. Huh? okay so left and right very good so left and right Okay, left and right is, if I'm not wrong, is this part, right? It's 20 times 7, yes. then times 2. That will give you left and right. Yes. That will give you be very good CM squared. Okay, yes. yes. Then, next. The next is front and back. Okay, very good. So front and back is this part, so it's 15, 20. So it's 15, 20 times 2. So the answer is? Um, 600. 600. Very good. Then, next. Uh, top and bottom. Mm, but I think. I have the minus two point five square pi. Actually, uh, you don't have to. Yeah, I'm going to tell you why. Because, because the order on top the cylinder. Correct. So basically here, right? Add with the this one. Yes. We actually give you the top also. Yes. So actually, you just do top and bottom now together. So it's a uh, fifteen times seven times two, right? Yes. The answer is two one zero. Two one zero. Yeah. Okay. Good. So which other surface that you have not considered then? The cylinder. Ah, the cylinder. That is called the? Uh, uh, what is called the? The side, right? The side. Ah. The side. I... This is the side of the cylinder, actually. Yes. Mm. How do you get the side of the cylinder? Area? Uh, wait, let me have a look. Mm. Um, first, I find the circumference of the mm. circle. Pass to 2 pi r times the? Five. No, 2 pi r times the. No, no, I write down the formula for. Uh, 2 pi r times, times the. Because this uh, is the circumference. Times 9. Very so good. Nine, yes. Five. So basically, it's, um, eight, this is 18, right? Yeah. Which pi times r is, r is 2.5. Okay? So. Or you can even do it 5 times. Circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. Yep. So pi r isn't it the area? No, pi r square is the area. Oh, okay. Ah, yes. Okay. Why I can remember because I square my square square is for area. Okay, so it's five. So it's five pi times nine. So it's forty five pi. Okay, just leave leave it at this first. Yes. Okay. Then what else? I, then I, I think that's it already. Yes. That's it already. Uh, oh, yeah. Then you add up. Yeah. And the area of circle. You have some more? Eh? Area of the circle on top. Yeah. You need one on top. Oh, you already yeah, yeah. Okay. So, okay. so your job is to add this. Them all up. Yes, correct. Yes. And then um, probably like three significant figures because yeah, of the pi. Yes. I got one thousand two hundred ninety cm. Mm. So basically, you just add this up, then you should get it already. Yes. Okay. That's the surface area. Find the volume of the water. So for for volume, I think it's even easier yes. because just find the volume of this, yes. and then find the volume of this. So, same strategy to weight one by one. Yes. Okay, so you do this uh, 15 times 7 to 20. Yes, I got 2100. Okay, very good. CM cube. Uh. Yes. Then this one is uh, pi r squared, which is base area times the 9. Yes. Okay, so over here is 25 pi times 9. Then you just add this two up. Yes. Okay, next, you say part 3, you got problem with it? Yeah, I, cannot, I thought the height is 40. Ask me about the height, but I think that the height is 40. But they say the height of the container, why? Isn't this which which one is the height? The height is the... It depends how you cut. So how you cut this one. 
Oh, how I cut is the height. Yeah. Yeah. Then the height it should be. Um. No, can, did, I I think you show something here. Something. Are you yeah. trying to tell me you cut it this way? Yes. Right. Yes. Right. Yes. Okay. The water from the container is transferred. Okay, in the form of a right angle. Okay, good. So now the problem is the problem is, problem is, all the water here is transferred to here. Yes. Right. So your job is to what? Basically, you have the volume already. Yes. This volume you pour into this. You pour into this thing, and then it's going to like fill up this thing. Probably like oh, it fill until this this height. It's not forty. When is going to be forty? When it's fully filled. But you don't know whether it's fully filled or not, right? So probably just assume that it filled until here. Oh, they said height of the water. They didn't say height of the container. They say height of the water in it. So basically, all the water transferred. So. I saw the wrong thing. Oh, so if you pick forty, that means you are assuming the height of the water. Basically, you assume that it's fully filled. But never mind, never mind. If high of the water, then that means how you do it. So you the base area. Yeah, but which one is the base area? Um, eight times fifteen times five. Why? Because it is a triangle. Correct, and the reason why is because you cut it this way, ma. Yes. Okay. Yes. You cut it this way so that you get a uniform layer, right? Yes. So when you cut it this way, then that means you try to cut this out, lah. Mm -hmm. So this is also called the cross sectional area. <laughs> okay. If they give they, if they use the, the their term is called cross-sectional area but for us we like to use the uniform layer yes. okay so cross-sectional uniform layer area is the, they mean the same thing yes. so it's uh yeah like you say it's 8 times 15 times half the reason is the 90 degrees here yes. oh, that's why this is the base this is the height yes. for the triangle so this then after that you just take the volume yeah. the volume here then you divide by this, that will give you the height of the water. Yeah, in the container Y. Yes. Then uh part four. Mm. So you just verify lor. You just verify lor. So what's the what's the height of the the water in this case? Uh, let me let me calculate. Yeah, but anyway, maybe you don't need to because what you can do is volume of the water pour into the is increased by three percent. Yeah, you need to calculate. Yeah. Yeah. Then you just increase the volume by three percent and see if your height increased by nine percent. <coughs> For the question, yeah. right? Which one? This question. Total volume. Do I use 2280 or do I use the, the one I haven't... Yeah, actually you are supposed to write that down first. Before you round off. Yeah. We talk about it, right? Yes. Yeah. Why? Because so that it will be as original very, as possible. Very good. So please follow the instructions. So what's the height of the water? Uh? You found it? Uh, no. no. Volume divided by base. Six, 
So what you are going to do right now is you try to increase the height by 3% mm -hmm. according to the question, right? Mm -hmm. You try to increase the height by 3%. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then see if the volume increased by 9%. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. So now you try to increase the height by 3%. So increase and then you find the volume. The water, increase the water port by 3%. Oh. So the volume increased by 3%, yeah. the height increased by 9%. Yes. So another way, you try to increase the height by 9%, uh -huh. see if your volume increased by 3%. Yeah. Yeah, make sense? Yeah. yeah. Mm. So you increase your height by 9% first. It's 37.9452312. Yes. Yeah. You know why we use this number, right? Yes. Instead of the round off. Yeah. yeah. Because, because we want to preserve the accuracy. Yeah. Yes. 9% equals 37.9452412 times 9% Then plus, plus it back to the original It's 3.41507 Then plus 37 Forty one point three six zero three one five increase by nine percent. Yeah. Then and you find the volume, volume is times mm. base yeah. sixty. Mm. Is four four eight one point six one eight nine. Mm. So you compare to the volume just now. What's the percentage increase in volume? Seven, six, two, two, seven, six, mm. Minus two, 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 seven, six, point seven, one, four, five, eight, seven, five, eight, seven. Then divide the difference divide by the initial initial no. which is two 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 seven six seven one four five two seven five two seven is zero point Nine percent. Yeah. Nine percent. Okay. So true. So it's true. Okay. So actually, there is a very important no, message. No. Yeah? It should be three percent. The water. Oh, okay. Then then the message is not not three percent. Yeah. There's an increase of nine percent. Yeah. So that's how you prove it's not three percent. Okay. So actually, there is a very important message in this question. Is they are linked. Yes. They're connected. Imagine you get the volume wrong. The whole thing. The whole wrong. thing is wrong. So for questions like this, they are connected. So make sure that your part one must be correct. Because if your part one wrong, it means there is no point doing the rest. Okay. So generally, if you get questions like this, mm -hmm. you need to make sure that your part one is correct. So double check, double check, double check. Understand me? Yeah. Because you cannot, you cannot afford to make a small mistake for part one. Because your part one mistake will have ripple effect and you cannot afford it. Okay? So please make sure that you can get it. Okay, good. Next. Yeah, the others are quite mm. okay. They're quite okay. Okay. So, you know some of the mm. questions, mm. like question one, two, yeah, three, yes. right? Mm. We did it in class before. 
then the others haven't do so I can okay. take my paper. Okay. So let, let me take a look at your paper two. Mm. Thank you. I did I didn't okay. do it no, in paper order. two. Yeah, no this problem. is paper one. I want to take a paper two. Not the not your thing, not your answers. Because some questions I want to Go through. Okay, question nine. Okay. So question nine, right? What I what I want to look at is you just check uh, first thing first. Did you label the axis uh, horizontal is T and then uh, this is your is this second? Yes, seconds and then over here is V and then this is uh, liter. Did you label these two? Oh, no. Okay, first thing you need to label. Don't I mean this one T is opposite, here. Opposite. T is over here, V is here. Then G G over here. No. Do you know why? Yes. Why? Can I talk about it? Like one student. T over here. It, it says what? Horizontal axis is T. Horizontal. Oh. Yes. Oh horizontal. So that's how you decide. That's how you decide. Maybe which one is horizontal? Yeah. Which one is vertical? Mm -hmm. Okay, you cannot afford to make this mistake because if you make mistakes like this, the whole thing is wrong. Yes, yes, the whole thing is wrong. And then how many marks? Uh, six, eight. Yeah. Wow. Okay, this is two two grades. Oh. Okay. So, bear in mind, mm -hmm. read the questions. Read the question. Read the question. So, actually, for the first question, uh, the height of the water, but you give the height of the, the prism. And then, uh, yeah, you you always have this um, common mistake. You don't read the questions carefully. Okay, if you don't read the questions carefully, then you pay the price. Okay, so you have to redo. Okay, so generally, how the examiner will mark students' paper is first they must get the horizontal and the vertical okay. as is correct. Yes, and then label. Okay, then can you read? I mean, yeah, correct. I didn't even know what I was thinking. Not only you make this mistake. No, but the the girl the girl that came to my my class uh before you generally okay. she always make this mistake. Until I keep talking about this, keep talking about this, then she has to redraw then and, and, and she make the similar mistake like yours last time. Zero is here for the X, then suddenly zero for the Y here. So you are not so special. It's good that you make this mistake now, and then you don't make mistakes uh, during your exam. So on mm. Thursday, right, our teacher gave us a one hour. Which one? For 30, this is how much? One yes, hour, yes. 30 minutes yes, test time. Yeah. on paper two. Yes. Uh, yeah, and I, uh, and then I, mm. we, like, our teacher marked it, and I think actually I did quite okay that day. Uh, how many marks over how many marks? Uh, 60 over 45. 60 over 45. Is 40? 45 over 60, is it? 45 over 60. Wait, come on! How can you score more than the paper? 60 minus 15 marks. So 45 over 60, right? Yeah. 70. Yeah, 70 pa. Yeah. 60 minus 15. Not good. 15. Not good. It's A1, though. No, no, not good. So, in fact, 80% is what we aim for. And you should be more than capable of achieving 80%. No, 80% is not a big ask. Yeah, I think yes. so. You have that papers with you? Um, no. Okay, never mind. But I made some mistakes that I shouldn't make. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, and it's... But in fact, mistakes I... like this, right? No, I, I, oh. I got that question correct. Okay, okay. So, horizontal is 30. Actually, what you can do is very simple. You just look at this line, then you just zero to what? Zero, zero to, to eighty. This is zero to thirty. So basically, your zero and thirty is here. Yeah. So zero and eighty. Yeah. Okay, three, four, five, six. 不是, 你应该, uh, yeah, correct. That's how you found this.
Wow, I labeled wrong. I, I actually I labeled correctly, but my number was wrong. What do you mean? So it's supposed to be this, but P was correct. It was horizontal. Yeah. But the number is wrong. Uh huh. So angry. Yeah. You label wrong here. Yeah. So basically, you just use T here, lor. then you use V here. Yeah. Okay, then mind, you just do it here. Lor. No, uh, wait, I uh, label wrong. Horizontal. Horizontal is T. Vertical. Horizontal should be Horizontal T. is this one, it's yeah, T. Yes, correct. Oh! You don't even know what you think you make. Uh. You label wrong here. Yeah. So if you label wrong, it's also wrong, right? The whole thing is wrong. Uh, uh, okay, since your labeling is wrong, so you, you just... Because ultimately you will go ahead and do the gradient and then all this, right? Yeah. I think because oh. the, the graph is correct, mm -hmm. so the, the number will be correct. If But just now if you switch, not so basically if you don't label wrongly, mm -hmm. is you switch the axis, right? Mm -hmm. Everything will be wrong. Uh -huh. You understand me or not? Yes. But this, in this case, uh, your labeling is wrong, but the graph is correct, so basically you still get the marks. Okay, good. You understand my point or not? Yes. But anyway, we are not talking about uh, labeling wrong. We are talking about you should make sure that your labeling it's and the uh, axis, they are right. Yes. Okay, good. Okay, continue. Okay, okay, so what I'm going to look for is, okay, labeling with the unit, then ne next, of course. Okay? Uh -huh. Then they say use the graph, right? Mm -hmm. So what's the first question they ask? Um, the initial volume of the liquid. Mm. So basically, this, um, this point. 18 liters. This point, right? Yes. Yeah, so uh, good. Use the graph, just this. Okay, yeah. next. It's time the time needed to drain out 12 mm. liters. Yeah, so something like Yeah. 12 liters, so you look at. Why? Why? They say drain out 12. Not left track. You this is left track. You start. You start with eighteen. Yeah. When you drain twelve, you should be left with. You start with eighteen. Eighteen. Use thirty. Uh, eighteen use zero seconds. Drain out twelve. Drain out twelve. It's six liters. Yes. So you should be Oh. Here to here is drain out one. Mm -hmm. Here to here is drain out two. Yes. Turn out 3, turn out 4, turn out 5, turn out 6. So when you read this one, it's turn out 6. six. Very, very tricky. Oh, yeah. Okay? Okay? So what else they ask? And they ask for the gradient so and explain what the gradient is. Very good. So when you do the gradient, I can't emphasize enough. You must pick two points. Which two points you pick, you need to label. Let's say you, you want to take, pick these two points. Yeah. You need to label these two points. Do you? Okay, so you will never penalize. Remember the drain out, so you need to read the question carefully, okay? Uh -huh. Not 12 left, uh -huh. it's drain out 12. Uh -huh. Okay. I think I should write it on the mark, this one. Okay, no, okay. Label the point that's Okay. Mm. Yep, so, do you label? Uh, no. No? Okay, you label first, because I, I want to uh, caution you something. So which two points do you use? Mm. Three. I use this 9 and 30, 0. Mm. Okay. By the way, this is a very good uh, very good uh, habit to have. Write it down. Which one is the higher information? Yeah. So, which two points? Okay, you want to use these two points? Yeah. So, I'm supposed to see either 9 minus 0 or 0 minus 1. Minus 9. Mm -hmm. Use 0 minus 9. So, I should see 13 so minus, minus 2. Yes. So, you should get negative number. Why? Because it's a uh, slope down. down. Very good. So, that's how you get. So, what is the significance of this? Like? It's that, like, the rate of amount of water draining out, which is great. 
Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The amount of draining out is 0.6 per second. Per second. Very good. That's how you score full marks. Points. Okay. Next. Hey, did you label the? Do we? No, they don't have it. They don't have it. Okay. Don't have it. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. The next part. Oh, here question eight. You, you circle it, right? No, yeah, I did yeah. that. Okay. Uh, if if I if I have not made myself very clear the other time for higher purchase scheme, I'm going to make myself that very very clear today. So for higher purchase scheme, did I talk about the pay now pay later uh, concept? Yes. Okay. Yes. So you have the pay now portion. Yeah. And then you have the pay later portion. Yes. And of course, they don't. They don't use this pay now, pay later. They use what? They use down payment, and then they use the loan. Yes. So plus loan the plus the interest, right? And the loan plus the interest will give you the pay later portion. Yes. So of course, pay now, pay later is going to be the total, mm -hmm. right? Does it make sense? Yeah. So um, how to get the monthly installment is the pay later divided by the number of months, ah. Yeah. Right. Simple. Mm. So for this question, question eight, you I see that there is twenty four month and each month is two six seven point five. Mm. So this will give you the the pay later portion. Yes, and which is six thousand four hundred. But over here they ask for the total amount Chris pay for the television. So you need to use this. You need to add the pay now portion as well, mm. which is the pay now is uh six nine five zero. You want you want to double check? So basically, you want to double check the yeah, your first I, I answer. Yeah, I got Never mind about your answer. Can you help me check? Six, nine, five, four, times. Times. Two, six, seven. Correct. Point five. One, three, three, seven, zero. Yep. <gasps> oh, I forgot to times the twenty-four months. Then yes. what what have you been? I mean, you said so some more. I mean, what have you done? I don't know. What have you done? Uh, I added, but then I didn't times twenty four months. I mean, if you don't times twenty four, that means you are paying what? Only one month. Does it make sense? No. Yes. So all you need to do is you just remember this. If you think of this as a diagram, you just remember this diagram. Higher purchase, pay now, pay later. Which part is the pay later? The pay later is the twenty four times the two six seven point five, right? Mm -hmm. Pay now is the just now the, the down payment six nine five zero. If they ask yes. for the total, pay now plus pay later, yes. right? They ask, they are ask for the total amount of interest that Chris pay. How do you get the total amount of interest? Total amount of interest is four two zero. How do you get that? Is um first I two six seven point five times twenty four. Yes, that will give you the pay later. That will give you the pay later part. Pay later. Then you minus the loan, ah. Yeah, minus the loan. Then that will give you the interest portion, yeah. right? Can you see? Yeah. Yes. How do you get the loan, ah? Huh? How do you get the loan portion? No, I thought. Uh, no, loan is the total. Yes. Minus the pay now. Correct. Then you get the loan. Actually, it's not the total. It's the cash price. Yeah, the cash price minus okay. the pay yes. now. Yes. Then the simple interest rate mm. per annum. Um, is two percent. How? I um I use four thousand two hundred. The, the interest yep. divided by, by 6,000 is 24 over 12. So it's like okay, so basically you use the interest, you divide by the loan, yes. and then this will give you the interest rate. Yes. And this interest rate is the 24 months. Yes. 24 months is 2 years, right? Yes. So they want 1 year, right? Yeah. So therefore you divide by 2. Yes. So okay. it's 1%. 2%. 2%. 2%. 2%. I got okay. 2%. 2%. Okay. 2%. Correct. So what about 8B? 8B, I got 68800. Okay, I cannot emphasize this question enough. This question is all about uh, total, income, total income and then total relief. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. and if you, this one minus this one, you will give you the taxable uh, income. Yes. And then for the taxable income, you just see which which column it go into. Yes. Okay. So let me you must do it this way. You do it any other way it's very easy to make mistake. Tax code income. Okay, so I 
I don't prefer you use minus. You should get me all the total relief first. Oh, then you minus together. Correct. Oh. Yes, please do that. Please do that. Try, try, the, try that way. Because why you don't, I, why I suggest not, not to minus, because sometimes they will say personal relief 1,000, parental relief 5,000 each. Then what if you have father and mother unit times two already? So what is the total relief? Two six two. Okay. Two six two zero zero. Mm. Then you use the total income minus, minus the two total six relief. Two yeah. See if you can get the same answer. Six eight. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So six eight. It fit into the this. Yes. Then you should pay five five zero. Then the. Plus, um, seven, 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 seven percent. Zero minus 40, 10, Correct. 10, 10. Okay. Good. Yes. Okay. So that's how you get four marks. Remember, just use this total income minus total relief. Yes. Don't do it any other way. Don't use mine. Don't minus individual. Okay. Question seven. How ah? Uh? Um. I uh. For question seven a. Yeah. Mm. I got um. So at first is 360 minus 204. Correct. What is the reason? Because it's because... Um, you need to use the reason. 204 degree is a reflex angle. Yeah, so what is your reason? You need to write down the reason. No reason penalized. State your reasons clearly. So what is the reason? Remember we talked about this? Like for every angle that you use, yeah, I have to have a you have to have a reason. This is called angles about a point. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is angle about a point? It's 360. 360 minus the Correct. So this reason is angles about a point. So you get 156, right? Hey. Yeah, one five six correct. Okay, one five six. So that is the internal angle, right? Yeah. So with the internal angle, how you how you do? Uh, so n minus two times one hundred eighty. Actually, 不用. You can use the external angle to do it. Do you know why? It's much faster. Mm -hmm. Three sixty divided by twenty four done already, and it's very simple. Uh -huh. Am I not right? Yes, yeah, sure. Ah, and actually, you don't even need to do that. You just use two zero four minus hundred eighty. Then you can get the external angle. Oh. I can't do that. Let me see your approach. How much work you have done? Very complicated, right? But I mean, quite quite complicated, right? complicated, right? Oh yeah, yeah, sure, 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 sure. But uh, uh slightly more complicated, right? Yes. But okay, fine. Next, okay, the point B. Point B. Okay. Point B. 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 Total, um, okay, can you explain? Can you explain? So, uh, at first I put uh, 180 into three angles, yeah. and it goes, then I can find the sum of the angles in one pentagon, yes. which is 540. Yeah. Then, what, what, then one angle of the one pen, pentagon. Ah, so you is, find 144, is it? Uh, it's 108, it's 108 for this one. I know, yeah. 108, 108, but this is 144. 144, yeah. What is the reason? Uh, angle on a, about a point. Yes, okay, now you know. Then after that, use 144. 144, then I, I, I use the same method. N minus 2. N minus 2. Very good. So, number of sides? Number of sides is 9. No, oh, okay, then number of pentagon? Number of pentagon, I haven't even thought. Uh, number of pentagon is also 9. Correct. Why? Because the sides equals to the number no. of pentagon. Correct. Question 5? Question mm. 5 I think is quite easy. Yes. A? Oh, question 5 I did. Yeah. Question 5 I did. And Let me the see. GST that part, right? Yeah, I want, to, I want to talk about that part. IDK. Okay, so first thing first, how do you check whether your USD dollar makes sense or not? So you know, like, you have uh, Sing Sing dollar 782. Yeah. If you end up with more US dollar, uh, let me see. Don't make sense. Uh -huh. huh? So you must have less. Why? Huh? Because US oh, dollar is stronger than, more than the yeah, Singapore dollar. Yeah, US dollar is stronger than you uh Singapore, Singapore dollar. Yes. So what I'm trying to tell you is if this is bigger, uh, then this share is wrong. Uh -huh. So basically like 
you don't have to use calculator you know your answer for if like you get the height of a person is 200 meter then you use one yeah same thing then after that uh, they say what the price of a printer after 15 percent discounts inclusive okay so what is the percentage in this price it's 92 percent half is more because it's 100% minus 15% plus 7% it's wrong you don't, you don't uh, look at it this way so what you do is this so stop using your method uh. Uh -huh. this method always fail one I'm going to teach you a good habit and a good method so you just let the price <coughs> of a printer be X or be A uh. Uh. so now you get a 50% scale, right? So that means you don't pay 15% to scale. I mean, you don't pay you don't pay 100%. You pay 85% of the original price, right? Yes. And this price, you have to put in a 7% GST, right? Yes. When this price, you need to give it a 7% GST, what it means is you times 1.07. Yeah. Oh, so it's 1.07. So it's equal to 119. Then you just have to figure out your A. Okay, so what about if you go for the food? So they have the service charge 10%, then they also have the GST 7%. So, how you do this question? So, the food is $100, right? Yes. For the service charge, is times 1.1. Yes. GST is times 1.7. So correct. So for the for the printer just now, no service charge, but got discount. That's why you get eighty five percent A. Uh -huh. But there is a GST to it, right? Uh -huh. So therefore, you times one point zero seven. Oh. Understand? Uh? Then yeah, therefore okay. you end up with one one nine. Then you just figure out your A. Can you be, can you correct this? Okay. Don't don't do it any don't do it this way already. Okay. Wrong. Or make, it's very very easy to make mistake if you do it that way. Teacher, why is yeah. it 107%? Some more? Why is it why is it 1.07 and why is it not 107? 107%? It's the same thing. 107% if you get it into decimal number is 1.07 <coughs> I'm sorry Then you just one. correct it to two decimal places. Yes. Why is it two decimal places? Dollars and cents. Oh.
Sadhana. Okay, what about this question? How do you do this question? Thirty. Uh, thirty percent discount on regular items, and member gets an addition no, for forty percent. Forty percent discount on part of the thirty percent, thirty percent discount. And Sing is a member, and she bought a shoe, a shoe of pair of white shoes for twenty dollars. So it's first. It's Use my approach. Okay. Use your approach. So just let the price of the shoe at the start be A, whatever. Yeah, X. Actually, Abidas is having a yen, yen, I mean, Abidas is having a promotion also, something to, similar to this. So they uh, they have uh, all year round promotion. Shopee is every day, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let, let me see your working, your working method. Mm -hmm. Nani? Okay. Yeah, so over here you get a... Ah, you just took me. You get a 30% discount, that means you pay how much? That means you pay 70. Oh, you pay 70. Yeah. And then the 40% is 60. Correct. Oh. Ah, yeah. So first you pay 70% of the X, yes. then next you pay 0 0.6. 0 0.6 of that whole thing, then it go to 100. Does it make sense to, to you or not? Now, yes. they go to Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, we will take a five minute break. So, continue to use this approach, don't use any other approach. Mm -hmm. Can you read the question or not? They give you discount leh. I don't want discount. You, you times 30, that means you are asking for 70% 70, 70 discount, right? Yeah, oh? that would be better. Okay, never mind. Take a brief break and come back. <laughs>